Yeah, you need all them goddamn backup singers, don't you? You overrated fucking dog whistle, motherfucking bitch, you. Yeah. Have all the musical instruments. You're a goddamn screamer, that's all the fuck you are. You're a goddamn screamer. Fuck you. Yeah, you gotta have all the backup singers to cover up what the fuck you can't do. Yeah, cover up what the fuck you can't do. You ain't motherfucking shit. Dog whistle. It's all the fuck you are. A wet cardboard box could sound better than you. Yeah, have all the goddamn backup singers for what the fuck you can't do. Yeah, have all them backup singers. Have all the musical instruments. But any best, she fucking comes out there with just one little piano or one guitar and beats the fuck out of you. Yeah, have all them goddamn musical instruments to cover up what the fuck you can't do. So fucking way overrated. Dog whistle screamer, that's all the fuck you are. You couldn't even come close to any best. Yeah! I bet you got fucking auto tune. I bet you're lip syncing the fucking shit. Goddamn screamer, that's all the fuck you are. You're just a goddamn screamer compared to any best, that's all you are. Dog whistle. Yeah! Have all the musical instruments and all the singers to back up what you can't fucking do. Thank you, so much. you ain't no any best, that's all I gotta say. Screamer! Dog whistle screamer. Pardon me. Out of tune, dog whistle screamer. There's a sucker born every minute, and you're proof of it. Hey, clappers. Not only that, you put plastic in your chest. Soon to be seen in perfect match, Danica McKellar. Way overrated. Me best. Thank God for America's Got Talent. If it wasn't for her, where would she be right now? What chance would she have? 
How many people did she piss off? I bet you she's the type of person she would tell you to go fuck yourself. And she probably knows how to read contracts and everything like that. So, uh, so what happens is, is, uh, so Emmy Best, because she probably pissed off a lot of people, the inside professional singers know of Emmy Best and fear Emmy Best. And so what happens is, while she's watching the people on TV, knowing that she's the best, they won't even give her a chance. Because they know that Emmy Best would floor every one of them. And the thing is this is, I even called Caesar's Palace and talked to a Paul Shalotsky. The phone number of Caesar's Palace is 702-731-7110. And I tried to give him the, the jewel of all jewels, Emmy Best. And then he came up with this shit of, well, she's not well known. And I said, well, why don't you just let her open up for Mariah, Dog Whistle, Screaming Carrie? He wouldn't give her a chance. I'll bet you when he saw the video of her doing Monsters, he knew that Emmy Best with a little microphone and a little amplifier which she really don't need. She could floor every one of them singers. Emmy Best, thank God for America's Got Talent, or would she just be somebody that the world wouldn't know about and be cheated about, singing in little back bars, hoping to get enough tips maybe to pay for her meal or something like that, knowing that the greatest singer might have gone off into obscurity. The truth of the matter is, they're not interested in r real talent. Well, they claim that, uh, well, you got to stand in line or something like that. So that means, Emmy Best, first of all, from my, if I'm not correct, it's uh, 2015 right now, 2008, she had a record out. She had a song that's called Rocks in Your Shoes, another one called Blue Skies. But the truth of the matter is, is I believe Emmy Best was way too good, and I've seen all her, her videos, and I am absolutely floored by her. She has got a style about her. She, she is way ahead of the pack. She can do any style. She can sing classical. She can sing rock. She can sing blues. She can do it all. So, I, Jim Bike Man of Panama City, Florida, am not giving up, and I intend on calling uh, MGM Grand in uh, Las Vegas because I believe the very best should not wallow in little bars. And the facts are, Emmy Best is the only person I've ever run across in my life that she's got the ability within 30 seconds to put chills up and down your spine. She has this magic ability that Matt Franco could never have that she can transport you to another good place, and I don't know exactly what it is. But it makes you feel good. I have read her Facebook page talking about where there are people that have been floored by her, cause grown men to cry, cause people to have chills going up and down their spine. She is the ultimate in craft of singing. When she does a song, she doesn't just do flat monotone, where Mariah Dog Whistle Carrie, Screamer, Auto-Tune, uh, what, what is it, uh, uh, Lip Syncing, uh, a way overrated bitch, uh, screamer. No, no, Emmy Best, she doesn't need any of that. She has a voice that is so clear and so pure that I believe she has fried stadium amps. 
No, Emmy Best is the very best, and this is the reason why. I, Jim Bikeman, am determined to get her to where she can be up. I want to see the day when her cab turns into a fleet of limos. I want to see the day when the passenger plane that she drives on is a fleet of, of uh, 747 private jets. I want to see the day that her costume jewelry turns into diamonds, emeralds, and rubies. I want to see the day that she's so booked up that for the rest of her life she can do a show. I have seen that people around the world are begging for Emmy Best. And the truth of the matter is, the songs that she sung on America's Got Talent are nothing compared to the talent that she has. She's got songs called Monsters that would blow away anything. She's got a song called Fallon. She's got a Fallen. She's got another one that's called, um, what is it, Valentine. She's got another one called Completely Yours. She's got another one that's called Wonderful Things. She's got another one called The Dangers of Love. She's got one called Pretty Girl. She's got so many incredible songs. But I believe what it is. The record people somehow know she pissed them off in 2008 in Nashville, Capitol Records. She basically probably told them to go fuck themselves because she knew how to read a contract and, and interpret the fine print of the contract. And so she would rather, I believe, sing in a mission for her meals than she would... To, uh, to be up on stage knowing that she signed away all her rights and creativity. From what I understand in Nashville, they wanted her to be at a publishing house where they could steal all her music, all her creativity, and she wouldn't go for it. So I believe Emmy Best is the very best. She's the only one I've ever run across. She doesn't just cry. She doesn't just sing a song. She cries it with a million tears to the point where it could fill up all the oceans. Give her the color black and she'll turn it into a billion tree in bright colors so bright that it'll blind you. Emmy, you're the very best at Jim Bike Man from Panama City, Florida. Signing off. And I'm determined, Emmy Best, that you're going to get your throne that you deserve.